Obsession. I love obsession. Is there any other scent in the world that is more attractive than obsession? I think about my twin non-stop, all day, all night, so that she knows that I love her. I think about her so much. All I want here, here is all the problems I have. I just want to let her know that every bad feeling I have is because of her. That my entire life is such garbage and it's all her fault. That is, that is what they really want, right? That's what our twin flames really want, to know that we're completely obsessed with them. They want us, they want us to do like crazy things, you know, go crazy in the head. They want us to do, you know, jump through all of these hoops to be with them. To ride up there on a, on a, a trusty steed and, and save them. Is that how it is? That's what I want. I want her to save me from, from all of this awful life that I'm living. All because of her. You know, like, I feel like everything I see is just a reminder of how to you know, get closer to her. It's all like, you know, I saw a tree the other day and I was like, oh, you know, I was like, here's this tree, but, you know, one time I was like walking past the tree with my twin flame and that tree just popped out and reminded me of her. Or like another time I saw this red car and I don't have a red car and she doesn't have a red car. But I remember I was wearing like a shirt that she bought me and I was like walking, you know, down the street and I saw a red car and then I looked down at my shirt. And that's how it, and it, pff, boom, totally reminded me of her. That's obsession? I don't think that's obsession. I'm like, you know, that seven degrees of separation where, you know, anything that I can think of, I can find a way to figure out how that reminds me of her or how uh, her and I are connected. Go ahead, try me on anything. I can totally, you know, you say, you say like one of those word association games and I will totally like, show me one of those ink blotters. That's my twin flame. That's my twin flame. That's my twin flame. Oh, what is, what does a swing set mean? Oh, a swing set means to me that when I was a kid, I like had a vision and all of a sudden, 20 years later, there was another swing set that looked exactly like that one and pff, twin flame. I don't even know how I got there that time, but I, I bet I did get there. I'm starting to believe that I that I equated that swing set with my twin flame. You can't talk me out of that one. You see how all of this obsessing 
is leading to your lack of something. This is like your obsession with your twin is, is dumping all of your insecurity, your, your fear, your doubt, your uh, you know, lack of love for yourself. And you're taking that all and you're taking you know, all the other negative thoughts that you have within, within you and you're just saying, here you go to them. You're, you're just handing that to your twin flame saying, you know, once you, once you come back into my life or once you come into my life, period, oh, everything will be fixed. You're literally dumping all of your shit on them. If I, if I dumped all of that, uh, anything, not even all of it, but anything, any kind of uh, anything on my twin, she would tell me to go fuck myself. Like, for real. In the most loving and compassionate way, she would tell me to go fuck myself. You are the only one that can create this happy, uh, loving, uh, carefree life that you really desire to live. It's not someone else's burden to create your own reality. You know, people walking around have, if you notice, have a hard enough time creating their own reality at the moment. There's a lot of people walking around that are really struggling. So how can you expect someone else to create your reality for you? Why would you, how would that even be compassionate, a, a compassionate thought to have that here, you're just going to give all of your nonsense to somebody else to fix, even if that were a possibility of being true, which it isn't? Is that love? Is that a loving action to hand off all of your crap to somebody else? Why would, why would anyone want that? If somebody did that to you, would you want that? I highly doubt it. You know, this is, this is your journey to fix yourself, to heal yourself, to love yourself. You know, they have theirs. They have their own shit to do. They have to heal themselves and love themselves as well. And you do it at the same rate. However, no one person can do it for another. It has to be done by the individual. All right? So visit asoneguidance.com. Uh, you know, let me help you. I, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you through this journey and, you know, discover what it is that's blocking you along the way and to help you understand how to heal yourself and realize that it is possible to heal yourself right uh subscribe to my channel and uh leave a comment down below if you so choose preferably a nice one but doesn't have to be and uh, i will see you all next time take care